it's Jennifer and welcome back to Busy Being Jen. Today I'm here to talk about the August mini challenge and I can't believe that I'm doing this video already. I say that every month I know but part of it is that you know it's not actually the end of August. I mean the end of um, July for me. Of course I have to film these things early and get them uploaded for you so you can get ready for these things but before I talk about the August challenge let me go ahead and talk about the July challenge which was a month of creativity. Now I didn't do as well on this challenge as I had hoped I would. Granted, it's still early in, you know, early in the month, sort of. What's the date today? That 18th? Something like that? Anyway, so I still have time before the end of the month. But I haven't been as good about doing something every day. And you would think it would be easy, you know, to force yourself. Oh, I have to do something creative. But I think part of it is just because we're going on a cruise pretty soon and I've really had my focus on getting ready for that and so it has you know it's just kind of slipped my mind in some you know in some cases but I have done some creative stuff not just not every day so what I have done this month is I've worked on some little knitting um, thing well they're called hexapuffs they eventually get hooked together into this thing called a beekeepers quilt and it looks like little honeycomb pieces but they're in different colors and so I've been I started that last fall I think and then I hadn't worked on it in a while so I've done several of those I've also done some uh, coloring I got some, some I have some adult coloring books but I also have some things that are also for grown-ups that are coloring things but you can make them into cards or they're you know designed to put on the front of a gift bag just to kind of jazz them up a little bit so I've done some of that I've also been doing this thing called Bible journal journaling which I'm gonna do a video on here uh, coming up well maybe next month uh, but anyway I've been doing that and that kind of gives a, me a creative outlet to kind of um, draw a little bit and do a little bit more coloring and things like that so I have more things that I plan to do by the end of the month and I, I will do them but like I said I just haven't been good about doing something every day so what I intend to do is at some point between now and the end of 2016 is I'm going to do this challenge again. You can join me for that one again or not, but I just have loved the idea of forcing myself to make creativity a priority, but it just, just because of other things I haven't so much. So, okay, what is the August challenge? Uh, the August mini challenge, and for those of you who are kind of t new to this whole mi mini challenge thing, the idea is that instead of a New Year's resolution, you just choose one thing to do for 30 days and hopefully it becomes a habit by the end of the month. So I will list some of the other challenges in the space below for you. But the August challenge is a month of reading every day and you can decide how much reading you want to do. Do you want to sit down for 15 minutes every day because you haven't been reading at all? Do you want to um, make it so you're prioritizing your reading so you're doing an hour every day? Um, I'm going to try to read about a half hour a day. I love reading, but I let everything go get in the way of it and I end up waiting until right before I go to bed and then I get sleepy and I or I go to bed too late and I really just think oh, I can't stay up and read. So I just want to make it a priority this month and yeah, I think that that will be um, a nice reason to get myself back into the habit of reading more frequently. I have my books picked out. I'm very excited about that. I've got one I'm reading right now that I'm going to finish before that one starts and I have another one picked up to, um, to start the challenge with. So I hope you guys will join me for this challenge. If you are going to join me, let me know by leaving a comment. And anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you will tune back in with me at Biz Being Jen. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that button. We'll see you again, you guys. Bye-bye.